What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're watching a social experiment where one guy tries to date 30 women and I'm already uncomfortable just thinking about how this is gonna go. Now this video comes from Jubilee. It's a YouTube channel that creates different reality shows like this one we're about to watch. And just like any other dating app like Tinder, the goal is that he has to swipe right on the girl that he wants to date and left on the girl that he wants to reject. Only instead of doing it in the app, you have to say it right to her face and it's it's awkward, it's uncomfortable, you know, everything that makes a good reality show. Now, it looks like there's 18 different episodes. I have no idea which one to pick. Um, there's the, also the guy version and the girl version, so I think we should watch one from both sides. Uh, let's go with the episode with the most amount of views because everybody seems to be watching it, so it must be good. Also, let me know in the comments if you would ever go on a show like this. I think it would be way too awkward, but let's find out. This is a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. It's like I'm about to get like the shit out of me. Like. Um, more than anything, this looks like an experiment on how many different ways you can wear the same outfit. Tucked in, not tucked in. If you can't make up your mind, then tuck half of it in. Pant legs down, pant legs rolled up. Who knew you could wear a white shirt and black pants 30 different ways? That awkward silence. This is such a weird way to do this. It's like public shaming. <laughs> it looks like they're in the military. Ah, just like that, just like that. Let's back that up for a second because she had to just stand there and stare at him for probably 20 minutes just waiting for everybody else to get in line, waiting for the cameras to set up. And on top of that, I don't think they can say anything to each other, so they're just awkwardly staring at each other. <laughs> and then in two seconds, he just rejects her. That is so brutal. Wait, he shook his head no, and then he said yes? He's like, no, yes. Don't toy with their emotions. She already looks mad to be here. That's like the look of somebody whose friends dared them to go on the show and they really didn't want to go. I wonder what he's going by. He has like a certain look in his head that he's looking for. It looks like it's totally random the way he's just swiping. And on top of that, it's silence. You can't say anything to each other, so you don't know the reason why they said no. It could be your looks, it could be your height. Uh, it, it could be any reason and you just, you don't know why. Everyone's acting like a robot. Nobody's smiling, nobody's happy if they get chosen. The chosen people look just as disappointed as the people who got rejected. Nobody wants to be here and uh, I can't blame them. Cause it's kind of hard to get a read on this guy. He smiles when he accepts you, but he also smiles when he rejects you. He just doesn't stop smiling. He has a superb poker face. What? I think it's random. I don't, I think he's just randomly swiping. Messing with her head at the end. If you would swipe left, which means no, on Anshul here, please leave. Everybody's leaving. Everybody just walked out. There's like three people. <laughs> okay, six people. 10 people just walked out on him right there. It's like getting instant karma. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Emily. Anshul. Anshul? Jasmine. Anshul, nice to meet you. Anshul? It's like Anshulada. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's here? Just in case you were confused the first time with his name, he compared it to something even longer. <laughs> no, it's not Anshul. Get it right, it's Anshulada. So I guess like first question, would you spend three hours on the moon or three months in Europe? Three months in Europe. Is three right. months in Europe, yeah. really? I think those things are too different to compare. Would you rather go to the moon or would you rather go to Europe? The question should be something like, would you rather go to Australia or would you rather go to Japan? Or like something like that, because as soon as you mention the moon, 
You gotta go with the moon, right? You're never gonna get that opportunity again. Uh, I used to be a swimmer, yeah. This is like when I was 12. Hold up, you had a blog when you were 12. Like the That's exact insane. Thing. <laughs> hey, I, I had a blog when I was 12, if you count Twitter. <laughs> I love um, Indian food. Sorry, yeah. just putting that out there. <laughs> no, I do too. I love it. You never know What's if they're gonna, gonna happen, like, yeah, like, if they're yeah. gonna leave or if it's gonna stay, and that's like both are scary. Yeah. Before that happens. Well, it was great meeting yeah. you. Nice meeting you. Good too. seeing you. Is it just awesome. me or do none of these well, conversations feel natural? That's the hard part about these dating shows because the cameras are always around. You feel like the longer you're there, you're just wasting people's time. Plus, you're worried about what you're gonna sound like on camera. It's not the show you wanna go on if you wanna find love, but it's a lot of fun to watch. Hello again. Who's you gonna pick? <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you yet nice again, Catherine. Again. Yeah. Cool. I thought so, so. I had a really great time talking to you. I love the chance if you'd like to see me again sometime. I'd love to take you on a date, maybe like next weekend. I would love to. Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, okay. Perfect. Cool. I'll send you some times. Let me get your number real quick. Okay. Yeah. It's like, oh, so fun. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh no, don't do the victory fist bump right in front of her. <laughs> so now let's check out the other side. We'll check out the girl version just to see what the differences are. Oh, this is different. I actually like the setup better. It's still super awkward, but I would rather everybody just looking down at their phones and not looking at you than looking face to face. At least for like this first part, the awkward part of it. You have to take a selfie right on the spot. You get one shot at a good selfie. <laughs> would you guys date this? <laughs> Somebody said more than twice. If I could be so lucky, would anyone not? Wow, wow, two people dropped. That's not that bad. That's pretty good. She did a lot better than the last guy. I love to dance, so I don't like it when I'm with somebody who's a total Debbie Downer or boring and just kind of stands there I like and the doesn't party. Really dance. <laughs> Luke says, I tried once, didn't really go well. Raphael says, I tear up the bar mitzvah floor every Saturday. If you're at the club or bar and you're the type to not dance and just stand there, dot, 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 please go stand somewhere outside the circle. Only one person. I would definitely want someone open-minded but not a freak. So you shouldn't be into feet, but you know, a little choking's a little fun, well, you know. She's wasting no time. She's asking the questions that would be the most awkward questions you can ask in the middle of 20 different people. I would be asking really basic questions the whole time. What's your favorite food? Do you like movies? I'd keep it basic until it got narrowed down. I can't tell if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Every guy in that circle wants to choke her. <laughs> I do like them tall because I'm pretty tall for an Asian girl. And when I put on my heels, I would like to still be shorter than my man for like six feet tall. Everybody looks nervous. I think half of them are gonna leave right now. <laughs> Whoa. That's most of everybody. I um, would not want to be with somebody who wants kids within seven years. Seven years, that's a pretty specific number. I love kids. I've been an aunt since I was 10, so I'm like a natural around babies and kids. But I want to really just share a love with somebody that's so great and it's all about loving each other before we can, you know, bring somebody else in the world. I think you should be mentally stable that's as well, good financially. It's kind of a big pressure because you could really f somebody up in the head if you're not there. And I take that really seriously. 
Down to the final four. The deal breaker. You know what, I have a younger brother and anybody younger than me, I just automatically think of my brother, so. Like they could be the hottest person in the room and if they tell me they're even a month younger than me, I'm just like, oh, I just see my brother and it's like, oh, would not date my brother. Ooh, everybody's under 26. <laughs> Raphael says 20, but my friends say I'm mentally 25. <laughs> that sounds like something you say when you're a kid at Disney World and you want to ride the bigger rides and you're like, I'm three foot eight, but I'm mentally four foot two. Everybody's gone. She got nobody. You gotta be single for a while. <laughs> that was rude. How many guys did you think would be left? I thought there would be maybe four guys left, <laughs> but there were none. So today I learned that uh, my criteria is <laughs> not. I guess easy as I thought it was. I think you actually get a lot more out of watching this style where they get to ask the questions first instead of just swiping left or right. This was a much better format. I think the moral that they were trying to get at in the first episode was how awkward it is to just swipe on someone without knowing anything about them. But somehow by making that idea a reality show, they made it even more awkward than it already was on Tinder. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I make videos every week and I'll see you next time.